What's going on guys, guys are back again on another MLB The Show 19 Diamond Dynasty video. If you guys can tell, I am starting to feel a little bit better. I'm still not completely feeling great, but you know, I think the worst of it is really behind us at this point. Um, so that leads to the question, I do want to start streaming and obviously posting gameplay videos. That should probably start coming either Friday or Saturday. I'll probably upload my first gameplay because I know a lot of you guys have been asking about that not just this year but in last year as well. But now getting on to this video, we are going to be talking about the much deservingly talked about topic of XP. So basically if you guys don't know the whole idea around xp and the reason why so many people are so adamant about earning xp this year opposed to other years is because everything most of the best cards in the game are tied through this xp reward path if you guys remember in previous years we had the ticket counter i don't remember if it was called the ticket counter in 17 i know uh 16 it was the captain store last year was the ticket counter but you guys get the point um basically the xp bar was just kind of it unlocked it unlocked what you could earn but you would have to actually have another external uh another external monetary system such as tickets to actually unlock those cards now however xp is directly tied to those so once you do reach those different levels of xp you'll instantaneously get those rewards so that's why people like it so much and i personally enjoy the system as well and as you guys can see we have some really good rewards even once we get to level bronze 75 we are already getting 99 overall signature players and other high diamond flashbacks and once we get to level one silver we have a choice of one of 599 max overall signature players so as you guys can see really some of the best cards are definitely tied within um that xp reward path and this video is talking about how we can earn xp the quickest the fastest and basically the easiest way to do so so first off i just want to mention that xp can be uh can be earned anywhere i think there's somewhere that actually says it uh yeah play anywhere and get xp play anywhere earn xp and lock rewards so it doesn't matter whether you're playing offline it can be franchise march to october road of the show you will earn uh you will earn xp no matter what game mode you are playing in diamond dynasty as well um, and I will be talking about what game mode is the best to earn XP towards the end of this video There is a couple more points about XP that are very important that I want to bring up So let's get right into that and a lot of it has to do with the collections So the first thing is the starter collections complete small collections for rewards sounds basic sounds cute Let's get right into it as you guys can see I've completed pretty much each and every single one of these um, But we can still see what we need so let's just go into this one for example collect the following cards to complete your first collection i think you just literally needed to collect two cards and you get 500 xp for collecting two cards next one collect 10 infielders a thousand xp and that's just like common infielders you guys can see i have plenty of infielders left over but all you need is 10 and then you get other loot as well but you get 1000 xp for just collecting 10 live series infielders and it goes keep down the road you know collect 10 live series outfielders get another 1000 xp collect 15 bronze live series pitchers a little bit harder still get another 1000 xp uh collect five equipment items to unlock 1000 xp um this one collect five stadiums once again can be minor league stadiums major league stadiums any of those and then finally five unlockables which are just like icons name plates uh stadium sounds things like that all of those you gain 1000 xp for this bat skin one is a thousand xp i only have one bat skin this one it is more expensive to do probably i would not recommend to go out and buy two more bat skins to get 1000 xp but all of these other ones that's one two three four five six and seven thousand xp just like that and i know i opened a few packs of course um you know i pre-ordered the game and uh, got the digital deluxe edition so i had packs sort of away but you know even if you just pre-ordered the game and got like the 10 packs or whatever or yeah even if you just did that you probably already have enough courts to complete all of those so that is a really easy 7000 xp to go ahead and get and the not uh the next one does also rely along in the collection so 
First, we're going into each individual team collection. As you guys can see, each team has a 10 collect reward, a 20, a 30, and then a collect all reward. Now, the collect all, especially for some teams, it's definitely going to be harder than other teams to do, and it will cost you some stubs. But even collecting 10, you guys see, I collected 10 Oreos, and you guys know the Oreos, they have a lot of commons. So this is very cheap to do, and that's 2,000 XP for collecting 10 uh, Baltimore Oreos. If I collect 20, which I don't know exactly, exactly how I how many I'm at right now that's another 2,500 uh, collect 30 that's up to 3,000 and collect all of them that's 3,500 so um, obviously the Oreos are a good example because they are very cheap they have no golds they only have two silvers in their entire you know collection so in total that would be I'm gonna do the math on fly here watch this that's 6,500 uh, 9,000 that is 11,000 XP Per team that you are going to get now this one is a little bit different from those starter collections you probably will have to put in some stubs but like i said the best cards are earned throughout this xp reward path it is definitely worth it to go ahead and do this like i said 11 thousand xp from just doing that um you guys can see i have a lot of stubs i'm probably gonna be doing a spending spree in uh either probably the next video or the next day but uh yeah you guys can just tell um it is really worth it to do collections this year especially if you want to go ahead and get your xp reward path up you know of course uh teams like the yankees um yeah their collection or who would be a, a really perfect example of this the nationals i guess would be pretty good as they have three live series diamonds it's the same you know it doesn't matter the team so the nationals and oreos are still going to have the same xp rewards now don't just say okay yeah it's going to be a lot harder to collect all you can still go ahead and do these teams like you guys see i still have 10 collect on the washington nationals because every team has comments every team has bronzes every team has cheap cards so realistically every single team you could get pretty much collect 20 which is up to 4500 xp um probably spending under a thousand for each team so yeah i think you could probably swing under a thousand each team so that's under 30k 30 times 40 uh 4500 that's like 130,000 XP or something like that. I believe if I'm doing the math correctly. So that is a lot of XP. That is definitely something you want to go ahead and look into. Team collections are definitely worth it this year if you want to go ahead and build up your XP. You don't actually even have to, you know, log everything in. Just collect 10, collect 20, and you will see a big boost in XP bar just from that. Another important thing to note free agents there is also a collection reward for free agents that earn you a big amount of xp as you guys can see there is 161 free agents in the game so far uh Craig Kimbrell is obviously going to be the most expensive. He goes for about 4,500. Obviously, I think eventually a team is going to pick up Craig Kimbrell, so he's going to be off. You're making this even cheaper, but you guys can see just collecting 40, which I already have done, that gives that gave me 5,000 XP. Collecting 80, that's another 6,500. Collecting 120, the 161 is 7,500, and then 8,500 for collecting all the free agents. I'm not going to do the math. Those are a little bit bigger numbers, but you guys can tell. Free agents, I used to just quick sell them in the past, I'll be honest, do not do that this year. They are definitely worth a lot as far as XP goes, and they are a great way to boost up your XP bar. Now, I do want to talk a little bit about what is the best, uh, the best things to play as far as earning XP goes. So, basically last year, which the XP system as far as earning it is pretty much the same as it was from last year, so I'm going to transfer a lot of this data over. Um... All the playing that I've done, all like the testing that I've done from last year, I learned that playing smaller games is actually more effective for getting XP. So that's why I would recommend that you guys play Battle Royale opposed to rank seasons if you're solely focused on getting your xp level up plus battle royale there is also a great opportunity to get some of these flawless rewards those 85 12 win diamonds um so there's a lot of reasons to play battle royale but xp is just another one of those moments is also a good mode if you are looking for xp just off these first inning bosses as well which again ties into more stuff that you can earn this is another reason why i really like the moments you earn so basically Basically, imagine this, right? So for doing this one game, you earn 1200 XP 
and that does not include all the XP that you actually get from playing the game so you get almost double XP from doing that and then you're also making progress towards some really good cards just by doing this I'm about halfway to either 91 Andrew Jones 95 Rich Gossage or 96 Cy Young some very good diamond players so moments are definitely something that you are going to want to do as they also have a good amount of XP but if you are not even talking about Diamond Dynasty if you're talking about like franchise or road to the show doing a player lock on a franchise playing road to the show that does net you a pretty good amount of xp if you want to play a little bit offline or remember xp does still transfer even when you're offline so like even if your ps4 is not connected to the internet if you don't have access to wi-fi or the internet you can still earn xp by playing like road to the show franchise mode and that is still more ways to grind xp those are at least the best ways that i have found through playing the game physically itself to earn XP along with all the collections and moments and that kind of thing so hopefully this video did help you guys like I said some of the best cards are earned throughout this XP reward path I'm currently only 21 bronze but like I said I'm definitely gonna get on those collections and definitely trying to grind that up because I want access to some of those cards like I said they're absolutely insane and hopefully I can get those relatively quickly and you guys can too with these tips that I gave you in this video but if you guys have any other questions comments concerns anything of that sort let me know down below in the comment section i'll gladly go ahead and continue the conversation over there follow me on twitter by the way just a quick shout out at gomes to legend psn is also gomes to legend if you want to go ahead and send me your friend request i'll gladly go ahead and accept it but if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to like double hope you guys are great today and there it goes out you